third graders, let's go ahead and read chapter two. Hmm, I wonder who that bunny might be. And in this manner, Edward's days passed one into the other. Nothing remarkable happened. Oh, there was the occasional small domestic drama. Once while Abilene was at school, the neighbor's dog, a male brindled boxer, inexplicably named Rosie, came into the house uninvited and unannounced and lifted his leg on the dining room table, spraying the white tablecloth with his urine. He then trotted over and sniffed Edward. And before Edward even had time to consider the implications of being sniffed by a dog, he was in Rosie's mouth! And Rosie was shaking him back and forth, vigorously growling and drooling. Fortunately, Abilene's mother walked past the dining room and witnessed Edward's suffering. Drop it, she shouted at Rosie. And Rosie, surprised into obedience, did just as he was told. Edward's silk suit was stained with drool, and his head ached for several days afterward. But... It was his ego that had suffered the most damage. Abilene's mother had referred to him as it. And she was more outraged at the dog's urine on her tablecloth than she was about the indignities that Edward had suffered at the jaws of Rosie. And then there was the time that a maid new to the Tulane's household and eager to impress her employees with her diligence came upon Edward sitting in his chair in the dining room. What's this bunny doing here? She said out loud. Edward did not care at all for the word bunny. He found it derogatory in the extreme. Here's a picture. The caption says, Drop it! She shouted at Rosie. She shouted to Rosie. The maid bent over him and looked into his eyes. Humph, she said. She stood back up. She put her hands on her hips. I reckon you're just like every other thing in this house. Something needing to be cleaned and dusted. And so the maid vacuumed Edward Tulane. She sucked each of his long ears up the vacuum cleaner hose. She potted his clothes and beat his tail. She dusted his face with brutality and efficiency. And in her zeal to clean him, she vacuumed Edward's gold pocket watch right off his lap. The watch went into the maw of the vacuum cleaner with a distressing clank and that the maid did not even seem to hear. When she was done, she put the dining room chair back at the table and uncertain about exactly where Edward belonged, she finally decided to shove him in among the dolls on a shelf in Abilene's room. That's right, said the maid. There you go. She left Edward on the shelf at a most awkward and inhuman angle. His nose was actually touching his knees and he waited there with the dolls twittering and giggling at him like a flock of demented and unfriendly birds, until Abilene came home from school and found him missing, and ran from room to room calling his name, Edward! She shouted, Edward! There was no way, of course, for him to let her know where he was. No way for him to answer her. He could only sit and wait. When Abilene found him, she held him close, so close that Edward could feel her heart beating, leaping almost out of her chest at its agitation. Edward, she said, oh, Edward, I love you. I never want to be away from you. The rabbit, too, was experiencing a great emotion, but it was not love. It was annoyance that he had been so mightily inconvenienced that he had been handled by the maid as cavalierly as an inanimate object, a serving bowl, say, or a teapot. The only satisfaction that he had from the whole affair 
was that the new maid was dismissed immediately. Edward's pocket watch was located later, deep within the bowels of the vacuum cleaner, dented, but still in working condition. It was returned to him by Abilene's father, who presented it with a mocking bow. Sir Edward, he said, your timepiece, I believe. The Rosie affair and the vacuum cleaner incident, those were the great dramas of Edward's life up until the night of Abilene's 11th birthday, when at the dinner table, as the cake was being served, the ship was mentioned. Hmm. That's the end of chapter two, but I think the author's trying to tell us something. If you can figure out what the author might be trying to tell us, would you put that in tomorrow morning's discussion post? Thank you. All right, third graders, now I'm going to show you um, some things about how to get onto Pearson website so that you can watch math videos and how to get onto Canvas so you can respond to those morning meeting discussion posts. Um, there's also some really great other resources in there that I would encourage you to check out. We've got some really cool writing videos. I saw one of you already did day one of the writing videos. Nice work. You know who you are. Um, and I'm really excited to see how many more of you will get to do that. Um, I'm so proud of how many of you have gone on iReady. I think it was 11 third graders on math and 10 third graders on reading, and it's not even the same third graders. So we have most of the third graders in our class working on iReady. That's awesome. That's really going to help you um, stay, where you, stay where you are when we get back so we won't have as much catching up to do. Um, so keep watching to learn how to use some of those tools. And if you guys have anything that you want to learn about, please let me know on Remind or um, on in our morning meeting discussions. You could answer question one, question two, and then write a little bit about something that you need from me. All right, guys. Bye. Hello, third readers. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to go into Pearson Easy Bridge. So from the Students tab on the Everett Public School webpage right here, go ahead and click on Pearson Easy Bridge. All right, then once you've done that, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. If it tells you that you need to log out um, for security reasons or anything like that, just go ahead and close it right here. Um, go ahead and close the page and then go back to Student Tools and try again. Sometimes it just needs you to do it a second time. When you're done there, go ahead and click Pearson Success Net right here. Once you've done that, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now, this is where a lot of you are saying, there's nothing for me to do. What you need to do is you need to click on the To Do tab right here. And then it will bring you to a list of different assignments that you can choose from. And you can pick whichever ones you want to do um, and skip ones you're not interested in and come back to those ones later. I'll be updating and assigning more as time goes on. You'll notice it says page one of two right here. So if you wanna go see more assignments you could choose from, go ahead and click that next arrow. And right now there's just one other. All right, third graders, I hope that that was helpful. Um, now I'm going to show you how to get onto Canvas. All righty, third graders, so if you go back to the student tabs page and you click on this button right here that says canvas and this is what it will look like you'll notice that there's a lot of to do's in this corner don't worry about those you're not going to get in trouble if you haven't done them yet click on the third grade math tab that's where all of our classroom stuff is ha housed so that's like where our morning meetings will be i'll post the youtube links and videos for those of you that can't get to YouTube, I have another version of you that you can get to. So go ahead and click on the math tab. Then from in here, go ahead and come down. Ooh, I noticed that there's something here that's telling you about videos you could watch. If you didn't get to watch it on YouTube, you could click this link right here. It'll take you to the video, not on YouTube, a different way. Um, and then here it says week one, morning meeting on, oh, I see it says Monday right here. That tells me if it's Monday, March 16th, this is the link I should click. 
if it's not Monday, March 16th, which it's not anymore, the post will be closed. See if I click on it here. Then um, it won't, see there's no option for me to respond right here. And that's because uh, the post is closed. But if you go back to the home page here, Uh, morning meeting Friday March 20th that is today so that's the one you would click on and you can click reply and we're really excited to see how many of you there are let's look at I'm recording this on Thursday so let's look at how many people have recorded it wow so many third graders responded and I got a chance to respond to some of you so that's really exciting um, I can't wait to do more with you third graders and show you more things. I really miss you. Goodbye. Bye.